Hello YouTube, welcome to uh, our room. Uh, today's topic is on Twister, and today's Father's Day, so I figured, because I had my mom for Mother's Day, I'd have my dad here, uh, Scott, and uh, we're doing Twister because it's one of my dad's favorite movies, and, um, and well, I don't know if it's one of his favorite movies, but it definitely is um, one of his favorite hobbies, which is tornado chasing. Uh, just to give you a little heads up, my dad is the Ontario Central Manager for, um, or is it Central Ontario Manager? Central Ontario Manager yeah. for Camorn. For Camorn, and it's um, it's sort of like the equivalent to Skywarn in the States, and it pretty much just monitors like uh, severe weather, uh, tornadoes included, and, um, sorry my nose is getting a bit plugged up. Um, and uh, he trains like about 1,500 uh, ham radio operators a year into uh, spotting severe weather and stuff like that. Um, and we're actually, Canada's number two for uh, severe weather, like the majority of it, but uh, it's nothing compared to like the Midwest. So yeah, uh, take it from here. Okay, well uh, as far as Twister goes, uh, basically it's a good love story. That was my uh, overall take of it. Uh, had good CGI. Um, not a lot of tornado images, uh, I think the total, uh, as far as minutes go, of tornado images was, was very small. If it's tornado images that you want, then you basically uh, should watch the Discovery Channel. Um, let's talk about the famous cow scene. Uh, cows, uh, Bill's uh, driving along the causeway there, and they say they got cows. Next thing... Uh, They've got another cow or a second cow. Um, let's put it into reality here with uh, Twister sisters coming across that uh, that lake and them driving along there. As the cow revolutions uh, once around that yeah. truck uh, or twice yeah. around the truck, the cow wouldn't be moving. Uh, the cow basically would be either steak or hamburger. <laughs> Um, it definitely would not be mooing, so that's the reality of it. Um, also, in that scene, the uh, truck suddenly gets the Twister sisters revolving the truck yeah. on that causeway. It sort of goes between the two. Yeah, and uh, the truck doesn't end up in the water on either side. Yeah. And the amazing thing is, uh, when you drive down the highway in a windstorm, don't your windshield wipers do a little flutter yeah, so. as they're going along with the wind? This guy has two Twister sisters <laughs> revolving his whole truck, exactly. and yet his his wipers aren't gone yeah. at the end of it. His wipers are still functioning, and they're still there. I think there's a lot of like inaccuracies. When yeah, that was a little bit far, far like fetched. Um, also, um, hail shots. Uh, they had some hail shots. Uh, real close up on the ground, uh, hail, uh, right on the pavement there. Um, Time Warner, I'm sorry, but uh, hail is not in a cube form. There's uh, <laughs> some real flat spots of hail. Hail's usually gnarly or uh, basically um, round and it doesn't come yeah. out square. Uh, I think they must have went to the local motel's uh, ice cube uh, machine. And, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> and threw it out on the street for a shot. So, um, yeah. It's interesting with the Ontario Storm Prediction Center, I talked to uh, the warning preparedness meteorologist, Jeff Colson, a friend of mine, and he had some interesting observations. Um, the white picket fence scene, mm -hmm. they're running towards the it's barn. Brown. <laughs> okay, well the brown picket fence and uh, the as they're running towards that barn, mm -hmm. and they're running alongside the picket fence, you yeah. can see right behind them, just immediately behind them, the picket fence is flying uh, up yeah. behind Bill and Joe, and uh, you kind of wonder if Bill and Joe were to suddenly stop for something, yeah. would the picket fences stop flying? Because uh, they're right behind them. It's just that's true. It's kind of funny. Um, also, here's two meteorologists, mm -hmm. Bill and Joe, who have been studying these things for years yeah. and really know what they're doing when it comes to chasing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're breaking the number one rule. When you got a tornado, don't go into a large unsupported roof yeah. structure. So what do they choose? A barn. barn. <laughs> and then what do they do? They get inside the barn, 
and they realize that they it's, could be impaled at any minute with the a, knives and all the uh, the the swords and whatnot. It's uh, like a room out of the hostel. and sickles hanging from the ceiling. So they knew enough to get out of there. Then, with all the debris of the barn uh, demolishing behind them, yes. and all that debris flying through the air, at no point does anybody get any more than a, a mark on their shirt. Yeah, I'll, the okay. only thing that they really get is like dirt and stuff. That's about yeah, it. And it's not the tornado that's going to kill you. It's, it's, the debris. it's the debris. So, uh, you know, there's two meteorologists mm -hmm. breaking a lot of rules there. The final scene, they get into the pump house. Mm -hmm. They take the last little place on earth for a place to survive. Exactly. They get inside and this room is basically a pump house running with uh, 30, 40 feet down some, exactly. some heavy pipe. They strap themselves with, I believe it was like almost one inch size leather straps. Yeah, it's like belts. And strap it around themselves, uh, thinking that this is the only way to survive. And uh, the whole place, and there was one window in the scene of that building, mm -hmm. the whole place basically as the tornado passes over, starts obliterating the, the walls eggs. and the roof <laughs> and, and tearing this whole thing down to nothing it's at like all. like a bomb hit it. <laughs> and at no point are they impaled with any of the debris. Yeah. And then, miraculously, they are sucked up into the center of the vortex, mm -hmm. and they're upside down, and it's a beautiful scene and beautiful music going on, and everything's wonderful and dandy. Um, and, you know, the reality is, again, if they didn't get hit by the debris, <laughs> then inside, with the pressure differential of the oh. uh, vortice, they basically suck the wind right out of their lungs. <laughs> so uh, it was quite amusing from, be, from a chaser's like, point of view. They'd be like raisins when they come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, remember it's not the tornado that's going to kill you, it's the debris. Uh, stone traveling at 200 uh, could basically pass through a three quarter inch piece of plywood. So imagine what that'll do to your skin. Oh my gosh. I find it hard to believe that Joe and <laughs> and Bill could actually survive without being impaled mm. by something. Overall, uh, I did like the movie. It was entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, it was just not realistic from a chaser's point of view. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, one of the reasons I brought my dad, like I said, is because he's, an, uh, uh, he's a t uh, pretty much a tornado expert. Um, he's been studying for a while. Semi. Oh, semi. <laughs> he's he's going to be humble. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, do a few notes, but I but I decided to let the majority of him talk. Um, so yeah, we've got three copies of Twister, um, two DVDs and uh, one VHS, um, because I actually lost a few of them. And when I was getting my dad to watch it, he, he was actually like, where do, where is it? We can't find it. Um, but I, we did find it eventually. We loaned him out too. Yeah. Um, but uh, I overall I did like the tornado um, CGI and uh, like the effects. Um, the sound of it was like a beastly like kind of roar, and they're all different. Like you, everybody thinks a tornado is a tornado, but here you really see a difference in each one of them, and you can tell them apart. Um, and I loved how the characters were set up. Um, it's a bunch of guys like in a bunch of trucks, and like one guy's got like a pickup and a trailer. And Dusty, oh my gosh, Dusty is my favorite character. It's a shame that Philip Seymour Hoffman's character is not like this guy anymore. Because he just made me laugh so much when I was a kid, and even today. Um, but yeah, it was very well designed, and I had a note on the cows, but my dad pretty much covered all that. Um, and there's a lot of Wizard of Oz references, which I think is a really good thing, because first movie with a real tornado in it. Uh, although I think they mostly call it a cyclone. Yeah, you know, interesting to note that um, the reference to uh, Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. in the movie Twister, they use Dorothy for the canister, whereas in real life, I believe uh, they did a thing called the Tornado Project, mm -hmm. either by the NSSL or the National Weather Service, mm -hmm. and uh, their canister in real life was actually called Toto. Ah. So... Again, another uh, similarity for mm -hmm. Wizard of Oz. And, uh, yeah, I think NSL, NSSL got mentioned a lot, um, and a few scenes of it. Um, I think I only got time for one real con, um, 
and that is um, there's another safety thing that my dad mentioned. Um, it's the fact that the bridge scene, um, where they're in there, or actually got like only a few more seconds, but I'll do it quickly. I'm just gonna say the bridge scene is unrealistic because my dad's even said once that if you were there and that was the case, you'd be dead. You like you probably like people have tried it and they've actually gotten killed. So yeah, that is our uh, our view on Twister. Uh, I wish I had a bit more time, but we don't. Um, so yeah, I uh, thank my dad for coming out here, and I will see you guys later.